Hi Aquarius, we're going to go ahead and get right into this video, alright? So I did pull some cards and we're just going to go ahead and see what this reading is going to be about. But anyways, uh, let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. Like I said, it is a full moon, so I'm trying to figure out like what's this weird ass energy like? What's going on right now? Yeah, we're going to need more cars for this because this is like a goofy ass situation. Like, okay, Aquarius, you may have been feeling somebody like pulling on your energy. You could be like more tired than usual or um, you've just been resting a lot, like, you know. And you could be in this energy where um, for some of you guys, you may feel like somebody's watching you or, um, you know, things just feel um, eerily off. It's because this person is manifesting you. Specifically, if you're a female, maybe one of your uh, nipples may itch. Okay. So. Okay, so somebody, this is like somebody's trying to manifest you, right, Aquarius? And it's only because you're about to blow up, you're about to be famous, you're about to get attention. Um, your your company, your business, your job is going to skyrocket or your salary is, all right? You're going to have a new savings account or new money in your savings account. Mysterious checks and things will be sent in the mail for you guys. But more importantly, um, you're about to blow up. You are about to reach, like, you know, success. You're about to um, be very lucky right now. And it's kind of just like everything you thought you couldn't have. Or thought you were out of alignment with is going to come rushing in. I can imagine a hole in the boat and the water's coming in so quick. It's like that, okay? The Titanic could be a significance, but I'm looking at these damn cards here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull some Spirits of the Dark and Light Divination deck and see what's really going on. Because I ain't going to tell y'all what I'm thinking right now because this shit looks crazy. But okay, so the first card we have is Crystal Ball future predictions and divination so this is like the near future or the future here this is one of those type of readings so i'm guessing this will not be past present future okay you have spirit of the dwelling place home structure foundation building etc whether it's commercial or it's private property okay let's see what else we got At the bottom we have spirit of the snowflake irreplaceable special one of a kind and it's funny how we have irreplaceable because i have the card beyonce irreplaceable here at the bottom of the deck here we have spread of gold wealth status and windfall like i said it's gonna be coming in quick like future said that purple will be coming in i have spirit of envy discontent for resentful or miserable here and then i have spirit of the pentacle faith unity and wholeness so i don't know whose warning sign this is whose confirmation this is or um whose reading this is but let's talk about it here definitely show your girl some love down below if you like it you can definitely uh let me know but Let's talk about it. Because I feel like somebody for the team or spirit guys is like, look, you're, you're not getting it. You're not getting what the fuck we're trying to show you, bitch. Or, or sir. Or ma'am. Miss Lady. Granny Pooh. Maw Maw. You know what I'm saying? Stink Butt. Alright? Somebody can have multiple nicknames, okay? But yeah, I feel like you're being a little naive when it comes to the situation. That's what your spirit team is saying. What's going on here is that... Somebody's trying to manifest you, right? But the person manifesting you is like they cannot get you out of their mind. Like the five of swords, this person wants to act like they have the one up on you or knight of pentacles. They have more hoes than you or, you know, like they're a great catch. But this person's pillow talking about you. Yeah. Yeah, king of cups. It's like they're pillow talking about you here. But it's like whoever they're pillow talking about you to, the hermit card, they may say how, you know, you're so lonely or, you know, you're attached from the world or you're sneaky or you spend a lot of time alone or you don't have any friends, you don't have a man, whatever, whatever, whatever. Or you don't have a girl or you're single. Yeah, Ace of Swords, that's the truth here. It's like somebody's pillow talking on you. like. But it's like whoever they're trying to impress, I, I, let's talk about it. This could be a man doing this or a woman doing this. It doesn't matter. Yeah, but uh, Timber's card. So, they could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, a Virgo, or a Sagittarius. But it's like somebody is trying to pillow talk on you, but in reality, they want to balance things out with you here. Or they want to test the waters and see, like, you know, if they could really get you back or deal with you or you would take them back. Or you even give them the, the time of day. I don't feel like this is somebody who is 100% new. For some of you guys I'm picking up, you have history with this person. 
or you dealt with them once or twice or for a short period of time yeah i don't know what the fuck happened but yeah yeah there's an ultimatum being given here okay so maybe you gave them an ultimatum when you've seen them last yeah ten of wands this person got like a lot of baggage they have a very heavy load or they're just really like really annoying they have a lot of responsibilities they have no time for you or whatever it may be mind you guys this is a future prediction yeah with the world card this could be why you cut them off or you know why you don't deal with them or why the ultimatum was given here okay yeah page of wands this person wants to travel to see you here or, you know, they're watching from afar. You are like one of their secret obsessions here or something like that. But, yeah. This person here, they know that you're irreplaceable when it comes to their life, okay? Yeah. Seven of Swords, that's the truth. It's like they may be sneaking away because you're irreplaceable or they could have left... And got the grass is greener here, or you left them to stew in their juices, okay? And I feel like five of swords, four of wands, they realize that they can't get the upper hand, or it's not going to get any better or sweeter. Yeah, I, just, I hear like a motorcycle speeding outside, so this person is quickly on their way to you if they haven't said anything yet. But also, this person may have been pillow talking about like if you're right or if they're wrong, like I don't know who the fuck they're pillow talking to, Emperor Card, Six of Wands. Yeah, it's like this person was pillow talking, but it's like they wanted to to act like, you know, that you weren't winning, you weren't correct, you weren't successful, or you weren't on point. Whatever the fuck they was pillow talking to with the food card and the um, four of cups, this could be somebody friends with benefit, they best friend, or like, you know, some type of random person they got a, one of them weird bonds with. Like, not weird in a bad way, but weird as in like, is you my friend, is you my lover, like, what is this? situationships i guess four cups they're they're sad as fuck mad as fuck or they feel some type of way they're like you keep talking about some old shit or you you bringing this motherfucker up you pull up talking to them about me we just fuck like yeah page of pentacles seven of cups the four of cups and nine of swords and it's haunting whoever they're pillow talking to you about i feel like both of them motherfuckers stressed out but you need to pay attention to the signs here. The signs are cautioning you. You could even be seeing two, two, two. Don't have to be. It could be any angel number. But the signs are cautioning you here. Um, mind you, this is like a, a last minute swoop in. Like you know how somebody gets married and they're like, "Speak now or forever hold your peace." And this is somebody who's trying to like bust through the wedding doors and it's like, "Oh, I'm, I'm not holding my peace. I thought like they should be married." Like da 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 da. Like this is how somebody's trying to manifest you. Like this is what type of shit they own. But it's like, maybe their sexuality got exposed to you or what they're sexually into. And this is somebody here who may want to have a baby with you. Yeah. Yeah. But this is like all going on right before you're finna blow up. And it's funny because I seen this uh, TikTok the other day. I was watching on TikTok and it was this older lady. And she was like, one thing about it, whenever you get close to that finish line or whatever, you get close to finishing something out. Or what did she say? Whenever you're just getting close to, to ending something, to being done or your blessing or whatever she was saying, motherfuckers start coming out of nowhere. Like this is a situation that's coming out of nowhere. This person's going to try to come through out of nowhere. Like the paper boys early in the morning throwing the papers and shit. That's how they used to do back in the day. All right. Yeah. That's how the situation is going to go down. Let's see what else we need to know here. Yeah, your past on loved ones, especially um, your family in this year. Family of this lifetime that they have passed on and you've met them, but also passed on loved ones that you haven't met, like your ancestors who you haven't met. They're all trying to steer you in the right direction here. Or they kind of want you to focus on detoxifying your life, cleaning up your life and your energy and what's going on around you here. Because I have the home card at the bottom of the deck, which is related courts. And at the top, we have obsidian. You need to protect your home, protect yourself, or protect your mind, body, and soul. Um, that is, could be a great way, uh, a great home as well for like posting, okay? Entities, okay? But yeah, this is what's really going on here. Like, this, this person is like weird as fuck. Like, I don't know. These, these readings are so weird lately. Like, what is really going on? I keep saying this in all the readings, but it's true. It's like, I don't know what it is. Like, but then I remember we are in a full moon, so that's what it is. But yeah, this person is like trying to manifest you like bad as fuck. Like, 
Yeah, Six of Pentacles, they want to be fair or, you know, when they say beneficial, I'm talking about they're trying to literally, Nine of Pentacles, they, they're trying independently by themselves in a room or, or whatever the fuck they're doing here. Ten of Cups, asking people for your numbers or Eight of Pentacles trying to track you through your family members' profiles or who works here, past jobs, family members, whatever. Either they're tracking you through this or they're looking at the information. Okay. Or they may even be trying to, like, <laughs> just uh, communicate with them as a whole. Or people at a job. But, yeah. The only reason why the motherfucker was pillow talking on you anyways. We got a couple cards here. Yeah, King of Wands. This could be Aries or Sagittarius. Don't have to be somebody here who um, thinks it's just what they charm or they give the gab or whatever. They can get whatever they want. The Two Pentacles. This person was people talking about you anyways because it's like the empress versus whoever they're people talking with they trying to figure out if they right or they wrong they're trying to get their they mind right their priorities together yeah ace of swords get some type of clarity on who to trust or i'm hearing bitch who do you love yeah seven of swords because they knew they were being shady so just swords and they want to be on the right path yeah judgment but here comes that karma like what's really going on I don't know who Aquarius this is. You may not have found about, out about their sexuality or, or uh, about that they want to have a baby with you. This is somebody who's aggressive, okay? And then my ear just keeps ringing on my left side, like, this whole reading. Yeah. I feel like you could have gave this person an ultimatum. Like, if you don't do this, I'm not fucking with you. And you cut them off. Now they're trying to manifest you back. Or maybe you've seen them for a little minute and y'all had an awkward conversation. Or something was exchanged here. Couldn't be politically here. All right. And then, you know, woo do woo do But, like, all this is happening right before you're finna blow up. You're finna be famous. You're finna get notor notoriety. You're finna get wealth. You're about to get a windfall of money. Or, you know, you're about to blow up. People are going to hear your story. You know, you're going to become important. You're going to be able to start helping or doing your purpose and loving every minute of it and getting paid for it. Or, um, like I said, blow up as in, like, you know, you're about to get some type of recognition, reward, justice. Yeah, just seeing the four of cups here. Like, this person just do not want you to have that shit. Like, it's like, oh, I got all these things going on, but I still want you to have my baby. So I can hold you all the way back. Like, what? This is like some crazy ass shit. And we're only 12 minutes into the reading. Like, that's what I was saying. These readings is like weird as fuck. Like, what's really going on? Let's pull some of these cards. You some crazy ass readings, y'all. Like, honestly. Yeah, I got the chariot card. Heavy cancer energy. Heavy Scorpio energy. So I have a chariot card and I have tower. It's like, where the fuck you think you're going? Like, that's basically what that gave just now. So you got the high priestess and we got the strength card. So this is you. You're the high priestess. It says the answers lie deep inside of you. Embrace your divine feminine aspect. Surrender to the universe and just flow. You will receive what you deserve. Karma will fulfill itself. There is balance and fairness. Yeah, cherry card. It says you're at a point of arrival. Your willpower and focus have paid off. The top of card says in times of crisis, face challenges with grace. So it's like this is a challenge for this person because it's like, where the fuck do you think you're going? Like. What? You think you finna come over here before I blow up? You think you finna try to hold me back? You think that you're gonna, you know, have a baby with me? And then you, something going on with your sexuality is of significance? I don't know who reading this is, but yeah, you the high priestess. You know who, maybe you want to be new these things, nudges or, you know, rights or the law. Running, running the law could be significance. Like, what's really going on? Only 15 minutes into this reading. It's like this is the conflict. Like whoever this person is or whoever's reading this is, baby. Let me have sexuality exposed. I don't even really want to go into that card because it's kind of clear as day. Yeah, but not as worse as Sun card. The three of Pentacles. Somebody been having thoughts since they were a child here 
1.3 pinnacle this could have been with a friend or somebody who's of the community here five of cups but it was not a wish fulfillment or you know more importantly eight of wands it was the l that they took Strength card ten of swords page of wands now they just want to move on from the conflict as a whole but like i said you are about to blow the fuck up hold on okay you're trying to be funny yeah, I got the nine of pentacles reversed. I got the king of pentacles and I got the four of cups. So like I said, in the past or in this current time, you could be in an energy where um, you may not be all the way independent when it comes to your wealth, your luxury, your status, the way you get your money, or you know, you may not 100% be dependent on yourself. Which you're going to be able to start depending on yourself financially or doing everything on your own. Or eight of pentacles, Page of Cups, working where you want to work or how you want to work or for how many hours you want to work or when you want to work. But King of Pentacles, you will become the King of Pentacles. Money, power, respect. Okay, and Four of Cups, this is like not good for nobody involved. Except you. Yeah, Sun Card. Because it's like, how the fuck this motherfucker get to be happy? Ten of Wands, and I got all this baggage and bullshit. Or I got all these different things going on. And this person didn't even want to have a baby with me or they don't want to be with me or whatever it is it's kind of like stop manifesting me just leave me alone yeah person thinks you're good news here two of cups or working with you or manifesting you will be good news or good for them yeah justice card seven of wands but they have to cross their teeth and dot their eyes first yeah but your ancestors are like nah you're not gonna come over here with that conflict or that weird ass behavior your heart for part of verse and be rebellious to us yeah seven of swords and then betraying the divine yeah. Yeah, six of swords energy. I mean, we got the devil card. It's kind of just like, why are you trying to be a low vibration of motherfucker who want to come over here and try to manifest and do this and do that just to intertwine or enmesh themselves with you and your life, your destiny so toxically? So, like, you know, it's forever, or this person can forever benefit from you. <clears throat> Not only do they want to have a baby with you, this person has something going on with their sexuality. And then, like, you either you gave them ultimatum here, here, or, like, your ancestors gave you one when it came to the connection. The rights, for some of you guys, they can be involved with the law. Okay. But, yeah, they was pillow talking. They was pillow talking. Because you're not fucking with them. Like, what? What's really going on? These readings are like, what? What is really going on? Let's pull some cards here for this individual. Damn. I couldn't even get any cards out. It was ready to come out. All right, so we have well-being here. This is that way I make time to rest the stillness and tranquility are vital to keep my mind and my body rejuvenated. Yeah, I only consume foods and liquids that were designed by nature to be in my body. I honor myself my body by giving it what it needs and deserves to thrive. I provide myself with the best food, exercise, water, relaxation, therapeutic massages, treatments, and all that stuff. Yeah, self-worth and self-esteem. It's like you're about to blow because you're worried about yourself. You're taking care of yourself, your well-being. And it says, I know that I'm worthy of love and respect. The boundaries I create for others acknowledge my self-worth. Like This person liked when you didn't have worth for yourself or you wasn't really too hard on or too uh, stern when it came to your self worth and what you will and won't put up with. Mm hmm. Like you're doing better than this person. Yeah. This is just a mess. It's just like whoever this person is, they're just wanting to go out their way here. So you, so you can't take care of your well being or you can't be the best version of yourself. You have no self worth and shit, and then you'll end up taking them back. Yeah, King of Swords, Strength Card, but I feel like you're standing strong to the issue. Whoever this person is, they're fucking bozo. Like, like you need me, bro. I'm, I'm finna blow up. So you want to try to do some type of quick tear me down, quick demolition or something like that? Of my mind, body, and soul, specifically my body. Maybe you look really good or you take your looks seriously. Or somebody could be like a model or like a dancer or something. Somehow, some way you take your looks very seriously or your body very seriously. All right, but this was the reading. All right, I hope you guys didn't love it. I'm gonna go ahead and get some oracle because I feel like there's not really too much you need to do. It's just what's going on here. Let's see, what does the Aquarius collective need to be doing here? All right, so we have the King of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands. 
focus on your status focus on you know you blowing up focus on your new opportunity this new uh, door opening this new gigantic idea nine of swords and don't focus on or think about your fears your frustrations or how this person tries to make you lose it all or trying to make you think that they have the upper hand when you are just trying to manipulate situation for this to happen yeah because the three of cups here in the wheel of fortune you're still going to celebrate things are still going to go your way you're still on the right side of the wheel there's nothing to worry about yeah hermit card leo aquarius page of wands yeah, so I just feel like when it comes to situation, I just feel like you may ha even have to go and spend time alone. All right, so to kind of like th not think about this conflict here or what they're trying to do. But with the star card, I honestly feel like, you know, your faith and everything is what's going to keep you moving or push you across this issue or hearing obliterate the obstacle. And this person is going to have to watch you from behind the scenes anyways. Six of wands to the bottom of the deck, being successful. Yeah, I just feel like when it comes to you, Aquarius, we got the Knight of Pentacles, the Temperance card, the Five of Cups, and the World. Um, all you need to do here is, you know, take your time, take small strides, be balanced, okay? Pay attention. Don't take any losses or, you know, even if you do take it, oh, it's a lesson, not a loss. And with the world card, you'll be fine. It's like, just don't even deal with this motherfucker. Like, ignore them to the seventh degree. Literally, we have the seven of pentacles. Like, there's no rewards. There's no handouts. I cannot help you. I'm not dealing with you. I'm, no, hell no. I'm not sharing my fruits with you. Like, Queen of Swords, yeah, the world card. Because I thought this cycle was being closed out, but a motherfucker trying to be cocky. They tried to destroy you. Motherfucker trying to be cocky. It's like, okay, let me go play in Aquarius' face real quick. Yeah, three cups after I've had my third party, after I've already put a talk about them. Because Ten of Pentacles, I need money. I need finances. I need somewhere to work, somewhere to live, or something of that nature. And I know with the Devil card, we are toxic together, or I'm a toxic person to the Aquarius. But if I'm in a toxic still kill and destroy energy i know how to get what i need from who i need and now here i am trying to stop myself as an angel or having goodwill or you know being balanced to a wands so somebody can make this decision here of course make a decision here to let me get some money or let me ride they wave or you know contribute to me or you know hang me get me out of this rough spot yeah nine of swords because i feel like I, i'm not gonna be able to bounce back or two twenty twenty two twenty two on the timestamp this is one of my worst nightmares yeah, nine of cups and they're about to have their um biggest manifestation what are the odds like that's what's going on here all right but yeah this is pretty much it i'm not even going to go too much more in depth in that i'm just going to pull a card pull a card it says put on some tunes play a song or playlist that fills you fills you with good spirits okay or good energy but yeah you're going to be the rookie of the year so don't even fucking worry about it you're going to pull through my dear all right this was the reading and i hope to see you all later bye